Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, my dear ones? How is everything where you are? Hope you're doing just fine. Hope everything is okay. Praise be to the Almighty Allah, the God of heaven and earth, earth and heaven controller, the ruler, the overall, the absolute. The only one God who gives the very best of everything, the consultation are being rewarded. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one Al Ahad. And I do bear witness that man is worshipped in the righteousness or being worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is his last messenger. I'm so privileged to be on this platform and this is Learn Islam Uganda. I do apologize for not being here in time, but subhanAllah, you can't have an idea of what's really keeping me um, so busy and get caught up by time. The truth is I've been into some recordings. I thought they would get um, uh, finished in time, subhanAllah, but they went um, way uh, longer than I thought. But all in all, alhamdulillah, this is all Allah's work. Yes, I'm trying to do some, some recordings for TV stations here. And uh, so I wouldn't miss out that chance because, you know, I'm always here. I can always be online. Uh, that is all up to Allah. But then the recordings, yes, I'm far away. I'm in Malawi right now. I mean, I do want to grab any opportunity that I get, especially if it's all about spreading Islam and addressing the people, if it's all about reminders. So I wouldn't give, it, give up on it. All that matters is that I'm here in a way. Otherwise, how are you, my dear brothers and sisters? Thank you for being part of the show. I uh, thank you for being here. I uh, remember my name is Ashura Mtale. And um, yeah, this is a new, um, a new platform. I'm from me, we can talk. Okay, I'm from Uganda. East Africa, the pearl, the pearl of Africa. Yes, I proudly say that because truly I do love my country. No matter where I go, I just feel like East West, truly home is best. What do I have today? Uh, this is the attitude of Muslims amongst themselves. Attitude of Muslims amongst themselves. And why did I specifically choose on this topic, subhanAllah? I think um, we better get some things addressed or else. So we'll address them for, for us. Nobody else, but it's us to do that, subhanAllah. Yes, we'll not talk about the attitude. I feel like um, uh, this is common wherever I go. So before I say anything uh, that might offend any people my beloved um muslims my beloved uh, brothers and sisters one thing you should know that is that i do love islam alhamdulillah just like anyone else i mean we are straining for the life here after we're trying our level best and um yes we're all doing our best and trying really because you know we are only humans and so we are bound to fault we do have our own imperfections we do have our own flaws but it's all about trying you know allah who is the most merciful and so we're praying to allah hope i'm audible enough we're praying to allah to um appreciate us to you know to to be impressed with what we do because sometimes you know as a might think you are doing something good, it actually might be bad. So it's all about our praying to Allah 
to request him to accept us, to accept all our good, all our deeds, subhanallah, and to enable us to do whatever that we do for his sake and to take away any little um, feeling or sign of uh, of, uh, of Ria and Takabur because pride and show off is bad. So my dear ones, because that might be offended, I'm so sorry, but you know, some things we, we better have them addressed or else they are destroying us. First of all, I'm thanking all those people who are who are really good at being good. Subhanallah. Those people who are um, spreading the uh, the Muslim love or spreading the Islamic love, you know, the love amongst ourselves, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, those people who love for the sake of Allah subhanallah. I've also tested that. Alhamdulillah, I really have. And yes, there can be really good people when it goes for it. And may Allah bless you, the good people, those people who love for the sake of Allah. Those people who spread the love, the unity, you know, that brotherhood, the sisterhood in Islam. Because remember, united we stand, one Ummah. And we are entitled to love one another. SubhanAllah, one another. But why did I specifically come with um, the theme of um, attitude or attitude of Muslims towards themselves is that some people are really not good at, at all, you know. Yeah, just like, um, you know, someone might think or say that this is common. I mean, all human beings um, have their imperfections. Well, that is understandable, but um, it's not okay when it gets to the Muslims, subhanAllah. Okay, well, other societies as well uh, could be having the same problems. That's all up to them. And one would think uh, maybe I am um, um, uh, living with the Muslims and um, in the Muslim community. That's why these things are so uh, visible. But I'm not the only one uh, talking about this, you know, wherever you go. Yes, the negative attitude among ourselves, the hypocrisy within us is so clear, subhanAllah, that is such a shame. How much our uh, beautiful religion, Islam, teaches us so many good things, subhanAllah, how it teaches us to love one another, how it teaches us to to be there for each other for the sake of Islam, to love for the sake of Allah, to fight for each other, to love, to, to be, you know, united. This is what Islam wants us to be. But there's so many despicable things that are out there and people are really good at being bad, subhanAllah. May Allah protect us from that. How they become and that they come. And um, hope I am audible enough. Yes, please. I hope I'm audible enough. Well, uh, my dear ones, why did I specifically talk? Why did I specifically uh, bring this attitude? Is that um, meanwhile, uh, some people are really good, just like I said, Alhamdulillah. Yes, some people are really good. They are spreading the love, they're spreading the uh, the Muslim unity or Muslim unity, the brotherhood and sisterhood in Islam. They are Muslim and true Muslim ambassadors and they are really living exemplary life. I truly have tested this, subhanAllah. It's so lovely. It's so uh, great, alhamdulillah. And uh, praise be to the Almighty. I told you, my dear ones, um, from Uganda, East Africa, the pearl of Africa. Yes, the pearl of Africa. 
Okay, so my theme today, I'm talking about the attitude of Muslims among us themselves, Panla. Yes, and I, I did thank the people who are really good, people who are putting into practice what Islam teaches, subhanAllah. And when you find such people, you really feel so, so blessed to be a Muslim. You will feel so much uh, in love of Islam. You will feel Islam is really peace. It's truly love. It's truly uh, truth. It's truly life. Islam is truly peaceful. Islam is so welcoming, subhanAllah. Praise be to the Almighty. And when you really get in a society, in a community where people are really good at being bad, subhanAllah, you really wonder, do they really know about Islam? Do they even know what Islam teaches? It's due to our attitude that most of the Islamic communities are keeping behind that people are not growing up, that we are lagging behind in so many things, subhanAllah, and that is such a shame. Well, I don't want to hear that excuse that even other communities, well, that's up to them. Those are them, not us. Because we don't even know what they're being taught while they gather in their prayer palaces. But in our mosque, subhanAllah, how our sheikhs, how our imams, how our, our scholars are you know, telling us all the beautiful or the good news in Islam. They are giving us the good, uh, you know, the good news from the Quran, Al Quran, Al, -Al, 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 -Al Hakim. You know, we are getting all those hadiths from our beloved Prophet. Everything that he did, he lived an exemplary life, and how we are being encouraged to be in his footsteps, to try and do everything that he did, how calm he was, how good he was, how help, helping he was, how so well behaved, good mannered, how he handled the people, subhanAllah, had we followed really in the, in the right way of following in his footsteps, we would be living a harmonious, harmonious life. But subhanAllah, yeah, as we talk, some people would say, but that's normal with people. My beloved brothers and sisters, it's just not normal with Islam, especially with what Islam teaches us, subhanAllah. Islam teaches all aspects of life, how to handle what, when to handle it, where to handle it from, why to do what, okay? Because it's life, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's just love. Islam never misses out anything. But why would we in the world be those kind of jealousy people? We're always negative with each other. We never want our fellow Muslims to come up, you know. Please, I'm addressing the Muslims. There are no things like other societies because it's them. I don't want to hear that. This is us. It's such a shame. Well, one would think it's only because I'm surviving in a society where the Muslims or many Muslims or I'm living with almost Muslims, you know. That's why everything is just the way that it is. But that's not an excuse, you know. We are Muslims. This is us. Okay, yes, this is us. Why can't we do the right thing the way our sheikhs, our imams, our scholars are teaching us? If you do not know Islam enough and what it says, please try your little best. Try your little best to research about Islam. Because when you will acquire the knowledge that will help you be uh, control the jealousness because you know this is all about the life hereafter here we found the world and here we're going to live it this is all about the world subhanallah we are one umma ya rabbi why would you feel bad and so uncomfortable to see another muslim coming up 
we are supporting and you would rather give money to someone else than your fellow Muslim simply because you're so afraid of them getting up I mean coming up and why you don't have to uh, you know um, benefit from anyone is um, success to help them come up or else some other people you don't even need they don't even need your help to come up but you still keep in the ventilations to watch their downfall and yet this is your fellow Muslim these things are happening when you get in a society when you meet people who are good at being bad subhanallah you will wonder where in the world they are studying Islam and they pray they fast can even talk Islam subhanallah what comes out of them is beauty when they talk they talk beauty you think they have it all you think they really it really mean what they are talking but in alayhi wa in alayhi raj'un this is so bad this is one of the reasons as to why we are lagging behind when i say we i mean we the muslims this is one of the reasons as to why we are lagging behind why things are always falling apart with us when it gets to companies organizations opening up the muslim organizations eventually fall apart they eventually collapse they perish why there's so many hypocrisy there's so many hatred there's so many jealousness there's so many um who is she who is he who is he why would he do that you know those questions those you know um those feelings the heart feelings always panala it's such a shame you don't have to benefit from someone's success whoever they are for as long as they're 